How's it going guys? It's Typical FC and I'm back here with another video and today um, I'm just gonna do a review on my squad as you see I got a BPO squad going through You've probably seen the squad on my other videos and my Harry Kane review if you haven't uh, you should go check it out It's a pretty good uh, video and anyways, I'm joined here along with Eric's interest Hello guys, how are you? We're good and that's for you I'm great That's good. So yeah, we're just gonna talk about my squad here and like who I prefer as you can see I got um, upgraded Harry Kane along with uh, along with uh, Lukaku I honestly they're both really good strikers you might have heard uh, Lukaku like in squad building videos and then like other BPL videos because he's just amazing he he does not have the pace just like don't don't mind the stats but look he's got a four star weak foot and he's got a three star skill move and he's actually pretty cheap and uh, he actually dropped down and I I bought him for 24 he goes for around you can find him around like 15 maybe but yeah and my center attacking mid I got Carzola excuse me I have a question yeah how much did you get Lukaku for him? I actually bought him for um 24 yeah 24k yeah that was when he was up until the market crashed after all these new cards and yeah I also have Carzola I got him for 9k. He's he's honestly he, with, with the money that I spent for him, he is totally worth it. Some people might prefer yeah. a guy like um, David Silva, but yeah. I honestly, you know, I prefer Carlos. I mean, yeah, I agree. Uh, just a quick story. Uh, typical FC used to have a La Liga squad, and he did not work out good. To... <laughs> no, no, no. It, it was a good team, but I can. I can guarantee you that since he got the BPL team, he's been playing much better. So, if you guys are looking forward to any BPL teams, check out his channel. He has some good content with them. Yeah, thanks. So, it's pretty good. This is David Silva's card. I mean, if you look at it, it just is passing and dribbling in his overall. But honestly, if you look at it, I think Carlos is a much uh, better guy, even though he's only in 86, which is pretty good. Like, for a center mm -hmm. attacking mid. And I got this guy, which actually surprised me, Raheem Sterling. I got him for uh, 7.8k. He dropped down massively. He's pretty cheap right now on the market. You can find that for like probably 4k. Yeah, I can see a couple up here. Selling him? What's up? Are you gonna sell him? No, I'm actually gonna keep him. He's actually a really good guy. He's one of the top guys on my team. He's always there up on the field when you need him. and back on defense when you need him he's just like amazing he's got 93 pace i don't know for some reason people um people say um they say that march martial is better but mm -hmm. honestly if you look at it they're pretty much the same card it's just that raheem sterling's more of like he's got the dribbling and he's got the passing and the defending it's like martial and plus martial has like less pace and everything that's why i got sterling and he's obviously oh. much cheaper so yeah, he's pretty good. Uh, yeah, and another quick question. So yeah. rating from 1 through 10, let's go through all positions. Keeper, defender, midfield, forward. From each position, uh, what are your top players, in your opinion? My top players? in Not like not, not in regarding my squad? Or? Uh, out, you're starting 11. Let's okay, for my, start, yeah, for my starting 11, um, to the goalie. Uh, it has to be Czech. I mean, he's pretty good. I used him. I used other cards like Bravo. He didn't turn out good. But, I mean, people prefer mm -hmm. but, uh, Butlin. I haven't tried him out. I mean... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but I heard he's pretty good. And he also goes... And, yeah, he's also, like, pretty good. He goes with, like, any BPL squad. And then for his center backs, I got um, Eric Bailey along with um, Chris Smalling. Obviously, everyone, like... This year is like Chris Smalling's year because everyone uses him. And then like Eric Bailey along with him. He's, he's, he's pretty decent. He like, even though like I overpaid for them, it was worth it. You know, I recommend you guys get these cards. Uh, you'll see in like other videos too. That will like, be like uh, Eric Bailey with like uh, Chris Smalling. They're a good like duo and everything. I agree, you know. But if you are like more type... Like, if you have that budget, you could obviously get, like, better center back, like, Koscielny, which is pretty good. But, yeah, that's up to you. It's your, it's your budget. So, yeah. And then, if you yeah, look at I'm kind of having yeah. a hard time announcing this, but what do you think about uh, Ozzy, Ozzy Piliqueta? Oh, Asta Luqueta? Um, yeah. 
he he's actually pretty good. I was gonna go to him in just a sec. Yeah. Actually, uh, whenever we we play each other, that's the player that usually uh, catches my eye. So. Yeah, he's he's actually, in my opinion, I think he's the best um, left back in the BPL. Other people have like other opinions. But I mean, yeah, he's a good player. I mean, I've scored goals with him. He's a yeah, left back. I, I, I recommend if you have the coin. I mean, he's not that expensive, and for what overall he is, that's pretty good. How Other much people, did you get him? I got him for around. I got him for around like six point six k, which is not bad. I mean, for what he is. Alright. Yeah. yeah. Other people recommend. Uh, they also recommend uh, Luke Shaw. I mean, as you can see, with, they're going with the Manchester duo with Luke Shaw and Eric yeah. uh, Eric Bailey and everything. But yeah, I prefer um, Asalujato. I mean, he's a Chelsea player. What? That's why I like him. But he's also like it's not just his overall. I just like the way he plays, along with like Raheem Sterling. Like they'll be, they'll be like going up for offense when you need them, and then they'll be coming back for defense. They're just like they're pretty good, you know. He might have, he uh -huh. might like, yeah, he might not have the pace. He's got 79, but for what he is, he's pretty good. Along with um, Nathaniel Klein, which actually surprised me. He has 86 pace. He, I feel like he's like another winger. He'll be up there, like, yeah. He'll be giving so many crosses and then like so many assists, and then like next, you know, you'll see he's like right back at defense, you know, stopping them tackles and everything. It's, it's, he's just pretty good, but. I mean, I would recommend if you have the if you have the coins for him. Also, um, Kyle Walker, he got an upgrade, 82. He's actually pretty good too. He's like the same thing as the Daniel Klein, just that he's more of advanced. Like obviously, he has more pace in this that. But yeah, he's like the ch you could say uh, Daniel Klein is like the cheaper Walker. But yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then if you think uh, if you think yeah, yeah if you think I'm, about my opinion on. Um, Bellerin, I would have to say, honestly, if you look at his card, he didn't get an upgrade to an 80. I think he's just more of an offensive player than a defensive player. Like, because he has 95 pace, like, as you see, uh, yeah, defensive stats. You. Yeah, his defensive stats are not that good. Like, he'll be on offense, but then he'll slack on defense. So, that's why I got uh, Daniel Klein. I mean, he, he's like, he pounds his health, you know? Yeah. Now, a question. Let's say, for example, there was a player... Yeah, and he's looking for a forward. Would you recommend? Okay, let's say no. Let's say like this: he only had money <clears> enough <throat> for one forward, and he's looking for the best forward in BPL. And we're gonna go off based of your squad. What would you what, recommend? What position? It depends. Forward, striker, forward. Okay. And would you recommend Lukaku, Lukaku, or uh, Kane? Honestly, between that is the two. Uh, that is a hard decision. I mean, they're both. Uh, uh, I mean, they're both evenly like alike. You know, it's just that Harry Kane is a little bit better because he got an upgrade. But if you don't have the coins for him, I mean, they're around like the same price, I believe. Like Lukaku is pretty good too. I've seen um, him in a lot of squad builder challenges and everything. All right, squad building challenges. So it was. So it was Kane, right? The answer, though, like between the two. Yeah, I would have to say Kane based on like the squad building challenges, like the BPL ones that, that, right. the, that the YouTubers do, you know. Yeah, I see. All right, that's that's a good helpful one. And then yeah, mo moving on to my last two uh, positions for right mid, I got in my opinion, I think he's one of the best, if not the best, uh, right mid in the game. That's Hendrik Mkhitaryan. Um, he's pretty decent. I mean. He does. He lacks the pace, but he uh, he makes it up for it, like with his dribbling and then with his passing as well. I mean, he's got a decent mm -hmm. shot. I mean, if you if you like like pay like if you have the money and then you want to go for a guy like with more pace, you go with William. But as you can see, his his like rest of his stats are like nothing compared to Mkhitaryan. And then like your third option is Mares. I don't like Mares, uh, my opinion. It's just that he does not. He just like lacks. He lacks the dribbling skills, you know. He just yeah. He might have a. He might be like one overall higher in dribbling, but he, he does not have what uh, Mkhitaryan does, you know. Like 
he just McTarn's better offensively you know Mars is good too if you have the money for him but I recommend McTarn he's just slightly better you know and if you want pace you can get a guy like William but obviously he's uh, more expensive which just doesn't make sense you know what <clears throat> might as well just get like um, McTarn and then uh, yeah uh, any story behind getting the Katarian? Hello? Yeah, so as I was saying... Uh, yeah, my last position... <laughs> sorry, my last position... Um, it's um, CDM and then I went with... Uh, Matic, yeah, well, Matic. Um, I mean, there are a lot of other good CDMs that you can use. <clears throat> um, right. Henderson, uh, Henderson's uh, not bad. Uh, Schneiderlin, they're pretty cheap and they're good. I I did use Kante. If you've seen my other videos, I had Kante. He was decent, but ever since he got an upgrade, you know, it's like I want to upgrade him, and then like I, I couldn't afford him, so I'm like. Might as well just get Matic, you know, he's around the same thing. Yeah, she has a little more better stats than um, Kante, but some people prefer Kante over Mat uh, Matic, but yeah, that's opinion-wise. And yeah, that finish up, uh, finishes up my squad here. Uh, we will go into some gameplay. I'll show you some clips uh, in just a sec. Alright, see you guys. Yeah, uh, make sure to uh, like, comment, subscribe, and check out... Um, Eric's interest, I'll put the link oh, in the description. You. Yeah, yeah, he's pretty good. He does like uh, Godzilla videos. If you guys like that stuff, you go check it out. But yeah, uh, we're gonna head into the footage right now. With the tackle. And they're keeping the ball now, passing it nicely. Lukaku! As you see, there's a clip of Lukaku scoring. He just unreal with pace. Just like, just giving the ball and he will score. No matter what angle it is, and he just did it right there. As you can see, great dribbling by uh, both teammates, uh, Lukaku and Carzola, getting it to Harry Kane, and just a beautiful finish. Challenges for the ball. We've reached the hour mark. Half an hour to go. That's PK with the interception. Here's a chance to attack. This with a chance to go into the lead now. As you see there, Nathaniel Klein score, and I told you he gets up when you need him, he goes back when you need him, and he just got a goal for us. As you see, another good save. I mean, Petrček, he's good one on one, he's good from outside the box. Oh, as you can see, another good save by Petrček. Right by the box. 